I was contemplating divorce for about five years before I actually looked into getting a lawyer. And when I did a search on Google, Brown Family Law came up as a top rated law firm. So I went ahead and scheduled a consultation and um, just really liked what I had to hear from them. They were fantastic and very friendly and outgoing um, and very upfront with what I was able to do and what I might be able to get out of my divorce and listened to my stories and spent time with me and then told me exactly what I would be able to do and to get. And at the end of the consultation, I was still wavering a little bit about if I even wanted to get a divorce and the lawyer was very clear with me that it wasn't going to get any better in my situation and that I would be um, best to go ahead and file now because it was only going to get worse. So I, I just really appreciated his candor, but not only that, he, he had a lot of empathy in my situation and what I was going through. The best part about it, I guess, is he listened to everything I had to say and showed a lot of empathy. But within that empathy, he was able to help me make a decision about what I wanted to do. And at the end of the conversation that we had, and he spent quite some time with me, he just basically said that I needed to make that decision and it would be better to do it now than later because of the situation I was in that it was only going to get worse. And I really appreciated the fact that he was just laying it out for me and not sugarcoating it or even... But I didn't feel forced into making the decision in the divorce. He still left it up to me to make that choice and that decision. Amber was amazing. Um, the first conversation I had with her, she was so outgoing and so friendly. She listened to my concerns that I had about the divorce and what I wanted out of it. And she, every time I had an issue or I was upset about something, she was right there. I don't want to say she was my therapist, but she calmed me right down and gave me the straight answer about it. Um, and then she kept everything. So every time I had a text message or a video that, or anything that had to do with the divorce, she kept it and she, hang, she hung on to it. And when it came time for mediation, everything that I told her, she believed. Like, and then was able to use that to fight for what I wanted in my divorce. So the only things I really, really wanted was not to pay alimony, didn't want to lose my retirement or my pension because I was going to have to pay half. I wanted my house and I wanted my dogs. And she managed to get everything that I wanted. Their communication was phenomenal. I received a text message from the paralegal every single week. When I was filling out my financials, the paralegal called me the day I was filling them out because they were late. And we sat down, she was sick. And she still called me and we emailed and we texted and we chatted on the phone through the whole entire process as I was trying to figure out how much things were worth and get the documentation done. And I couldn't believe it. Like a week later, they told me she was tested positive for COVID. And you know, she was on the phone with me through that whole process. And every week I got a text message from the paralegal. And every time I reached out to Amber, if it was a phone call, a text, anything, she always reached out to me within two hours. I heard back from her. Even after the divorce was finalized, I ended up having an issue and I emailed her and she had called me back it was within an hour at that point. Um, and she called me every Friday without fail and listened to everything. She never rushed me off the phone. And she always listened to everything I had to say, like I said. And it, I always felt valued as a client with Amber. She was right out of the gate, the most friendliest person I've ever met in my life. And the minute we got into mediation, my only misgiving is like, oh, she seems so nice and so friendly. And then we get into mediation, it was just like a pitbull. <laughs> she was just right on top of it. She never wavered and she just had everything right at her fingertips. I've never seen anything like it. Like this, such a sweet, wonderful person. And then she just turned and fought for everything that I wanted and, I, and won. It was the best thing ever. Their ability to show empathy for the client was phenomenal. And the ability that they, they just listened to everything I had. And I, this is my second divorce, I'm gonna be honest. And my first lawyer for my first divorce, I never felt like he valued me as a client, as a human being, as a person. And I always felt like he was dismissive, so I'd call him up with an issue and he would just dismiss me. In fact, at one point he told me, I just need to get therapy. I never felt that with Amber or with Brown Family Law. It, it was always just the most friendly, positive experience that you could have as a client.
especially going through such a difficult time. Like you're going through a divorce. And I always felt like I had them on my side.